right. Here we are, Rope Oak TV, live from East Carolina. Yeah, everybody's going to have to look that up. We had a conversation about whether we're in East Carolina or West North Carolina. <laughs> Geography, please, put it in the comments. We're here at Article Festival. And we have a little thing happening tonight, big thing happening tonight, the Dallas Invasion. So <laughs> RC and the Grits, yep. Sean Martin and Sputnik are all playing here tonight. And we're here with special guest RC Williams. Yes, sir. Thanks and for having me. Sean Martin. Yes, sir. <laughs> Two amazing, amazing musicians, uh, friends, and leaders. So I want to start off with that because I want to talk about Dallas. And you guys might be tired of talking about Dallas. <laughs> I don't about think, Dallas. there you go. I don't think it's still a mystery to me as it, it unfolds and unravels as we know, uh, how the scene in Dallas is so powerful, but not not universally known as powerful. So you just kind of peel back a layer and you're like, wow. So you're on the road with. Just start with the things that you're doing, mm -hmm. right? So for people who don't know, right? Yeah. I'm currently on the road with Snoop Dogg right now. With Snoop? Uh -huh. But you bounced to an Erica show. Oh, last night in Boston. That, and you came here, and then back to Snoop. And yeah, in the mar, yeah. Right. So that says a lot. You're about to go out. Well, my whole tour. Yeah. Day right. one. Day one's my first time, right? <laughs> this is it right here? This is okay. it. I start right now. Yeah. So that's an important thing with this because we're going to air this uh, on, right, right on Sunday night, Monday morning. So everybody check the tour dates for Sean's tour. Um, yeah, make that. It's going to be a blast. Absolutely. So, so Dallas Family Tree is kind of like what I would like to unravel a little bit. Like, I've kind of known you guys for a little while. We met at a Snarky Puppy. Mm -hmm. And then we met through mm -hmm. Sean or Spud, right? Yeah. Down in Dallas and you know, But I hear the terms cousin, mm -hmm. little brother, big brother, mm -hmm. brother, sister, mm -hmm. thrown around a lot. So mm -hmm. help me. You, are you, you, two are, you two are kind of like the big brothers, right? Kind of. You are kind of like the big brothers because there the once was a time when we were the youngest and never the oldest. But, uh, but so me and RC, we've actually been friends since we were three or four years old. And yeah. I'm, I'm not going to say um, my age, but I will tell you that he turns 40 in a couple of days. We're just going to put the math I'll right I'll do it to that. Math right there. Yeah. 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 But, uh, but, uh, but, you know, we've been friends for a long time. And so, you know, we kind of come up, come up together. Of course, you know, Spud's a little older than us, so he was kind of like a big brother. And then you have people like Bobby Sparks, and you know. Uh, well, let's so start big. to trace. Like Bobby, I always like Bobby feels like big, big brother. Bobby, Bobby right? is big, big brother. Bobby, Bobby and Jerome. Bobby, yeah, Bobby, Jerome Harmon. Jerome Harmon. Jerome, Harmon. Yeah. Jerome, Harmon. Yeah. Jerome Harmon is the producer. He produces the Timbaland. He did like the. He does the all the pop records. He does. He's like. Time, but like, oh, when we were younger, yeah. like in our, uh, you know, we was in our guys' primary days back in the day, you know, me and Sean, we would go see Bobby and Jerome playing for Kirk Franklin. It was like, we was like, yo, that's going to be us. Like, Jerome right. would be on one side and Bobby would be on, Jerome would be playing Oregon and like, you know, little other stuff and Bobby would have all the analog stuff with his son, you know, the move right. and right. the voice box. So we grew up, you know what I'm saying, we, we grew up watching those guys, you know what I mean, so... As youngsters, so big brothers. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're kind of like young, younger brothers here. Yeah, yeah. But now you're moving into that yeah. elder we're states. Like, we're like, we're like the older guys, guys now. Yeah, we're <laughs> guys now right? You know, and now it's now it's like all the young guys like they want to show up for like the mini movies. Yeah. And it's like, hey, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. You know, it's, it's not always mm -hmm. be passing the tours. Are are some of the people that are in your band? You're you're gonna do. A set tonight. Yeah. Eleven people. Eleven people tonight. Yeah. yeah. Are some of those like the? Young, are they all from Dallas? Yeah. They. Yeah. It's the young boys. Yeah. 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 So you're bringing them up. We are bringing them up, really. Yeah. Between, you know, between me, Spud, Sean Martin, uh, you know, Gino Young, a lot of us, we've been, we used to be like the young boys on the scene, but we we really paid. We took what we learned from like, the older guys, but then we just like. Embraced it and pushed it a little bit forth further, you know what I mean? 
yeah, as I would say, as independent artists and also working with, you know, known artists, I would say. Right, so you go out and work with the big names, yeah. but also you like you're always back in Dallas, right? right always. And, and about the community, I think it's enviable. Maybe it does. Maybe you don't notice, but it's not that way a lot of places. Well, oh, oh, I, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, told, I, told you. I think it's such a beautiful thing, and of course we're busy trying to build something. You know, I have to say that some of my inspiration is seeing what happens in Dallas. You know, like let's build a family and a community of musicians that bring each other up, and it's it's a battle sometimes. Yes, I, I think the only, the only other city I've really seen that happen, or two cities, um, is Chicago and Detroit. Those are the only two cities where. If one person's from Chicago, everybody's from Chicago. One person from Detroit, everybody's from Detroit. And that's kind of, you know, one of the things that, like for me, like it, it was very important for me that Seven Summers represented Dallas. You know, I mean, there, there were songs that, you know, they probably couldn't have sang, but, you know, a number, a number of people, but it was important for me to have Claudia sing Love and Everything, or Gina Williams sing that. All the days work because that's my family, you know. And it's, I mean, same thing with Ben. It's like he's he's rolling eleven, you know. I'm rolling with five because <laughs> I can't afford it. But twenty eight, you know, right? You know, right. Yeah, one yeah. hotel night, right? right. One yeah. hit for compared yeah, to the, the next one. one. <laughs> twenty three city tour, you know, right? right. You know, Are you doing twenty three shows? Twenty two, yeah. Well, yeah. twenty two after the night. So, right. Some right, man. <laughs> the best part about it is you don't even have to do it. Hey man. Successful in every way, and now you're out on the road. I, 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 got, I, got, I have a lot of music in my heart that I got I to gotta put out to the people. There you go. So yeah. that's, that's my plan. Nice. So, so um, train of thought there, I have a question. You mentioned Detroit and Chicago. So, like, how does that translate to, to uh, genre? Or does it translate to genre? When you talk about a, a community of, of, of artists well, and musicians, well, I mean, I, I'm thinking Mo, like, yeah, Motown. I mean, that, like, yeah, I mean, I mean, when you look at you know, you look at Motown, how you know how Motown basically transformed Motown basically transformed the world, like literally, you know. I mean, but all of those cats were from Detroit, Jerry Shanks, Norman Whitfield, Steve. You know, you know, like everybody's oh, from, sure, you know, yeah. from there. So, you know, so there was always that 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 network that was from, you know, you know, the Motor City. And, and even and, and even when you look at it from a gospel music standpoint, the Clark sisters, the Lions, the Mission, like there was there's always it's that scene. Club. Yeah. And everybody represents Detroit. Everybody, and, and the same thing with Chicago. Is that genre-wise around the blues, or is that also blues, jazz, blues, jazz? Yeah, it was everywhere. You know, so, um, yeah, so it's like, you know, when you look at the talent pool in Dallas, the one thing that Dallas doesn't have that those other cities have is opportunity, and I think one of the things that we and you know, RC and Spud have always set out to do is create that opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know, and if, if I can create that opportunity, then you know I'm good. You know, because it's not it's not like you say. You know, I mean, my my career is pretty it's pretty set. You know what I'm saying? You know, but if I can put somebody else in a position that they can believe, now I'm even happy. Because it happened, I mean, it happened with me, you know. Yeah, I feel yeah. the same way. Um, me and Sean always been friends, you know what I mean? So it's like when we met Spud, and actually, Sean became friends with, with Spud before, you know, I met Spud, but Sean became friends with Spud before I actually, you know what I'm saying, became friends with Spud. I knew of Spud, you know what I'm saying, in, in the city. But like he's saying, like, Spud pretty much started. He had like a goal of, you know what I'm saying, and started a band or whatever. So he had Sean Martin as a young 
genius. You know what I'm saying? And, and other little young geniuses, you know what I'm saying, with God's property. So I tell the whole world, you know what I'm saying, Spud put me on, you know what I mean? And from, from you know, from dealing with Spud, you know, we all come from church bases. You know, that's how we, you know, met Terrace, you know what I'm saying, with the God's property thing. Terrace is 15 years old. You know, I was like 17, he was 16, Spud was 20. And we all, you know, we were youngsters. So we all formed a bond way back then. Yeah. And Way back then. When Terrace started, you know, dealing with Snoop, you know what I'm saying? First person he called was Spud. Right. Spud was playing drums. So they lost their keyboard player, you know what I'm saying? So Spud was going to have to play. No, actually, Spud was playing keys. Right. Oh, they lost their drummer, drummer. So Spud so was like. Person. Yeah, Spud was playing keys on the. Yeah. Spud, yeah, Spud was playing keys on the. Yeah. So it was like. Spud moved the drums. You know, so they called me to play keys. So it's like they, we all been. They called him. They call. They call him because they called me first, and I was like, I don't know if my mama will let me play. It's <laughs> too. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know, man. Did you ever ask it later? I never. I never asked it. I never really asked it. I was like, hey, you should call. You know, call mm-hmm. RC. You know, but. I was like, I don't know if I can play with because I, I work at a church, you know. No, I, 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 I was like, I mean, we all work at the church. Yeah, it's like, 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 like can, I, can I really go play with Snoop? Not, not against but, Snoop, love Snoop. You know, I, I love Snoop. No, I, it. I love everything. But the point is this, like, the point is this, like, you know. We all look out for each other, and, and, and then like Sean moved on and became a music director, and he's put many Dallas musicians in certain places. The youngsters that you know they'll never be able to experience. Same with me. I just you know take that same tool and try to put the young musicians on to situations how I was brought on. You know, you know I try to put the cast on that they never been in Europe with this man. Get your passport, do this. Right. You know, get your stuff, get your, get your stuff together. You know what I mean? And so that's what we, we that's how we was brought on and taught. And so we're just trying to, you know. Well, I think the, I think the whole world is looking for that. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are separated from those kind of values and that kind of practice mm-hmm. yeah. and that kind of uh, community and collaboration mm-hmm. and care for other humans. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so what fascinates me about Dallas is that you're an actual working model representation of how that community work and be ridiculously successful and it's fine so yeah, I mean, want to broadcast yeah. that to the world yeah. that's what we do and, I mean we take our experiences experiences like we like the reason why I started the Wednesday Night Jam session is because what I experienced right. when I started traveling the world you know so you know it's just the same thing when I when I was going to Philly and when I was going to Atlanta and New York, all these different spots, they had little jam sessions. And then when I first started playing with Eric Baju, well, both of us, you know, we was experienced those scenes. And so we just wanted to bring that same scene to Dallas. And we've been dealing with it for 12 years now, you know what I mean? Starting that scene where we can, the young musicians, they can come through or whatever artists, whatever you are, you know, just come through and hang if you want to. You know, it's, it's not an intimidation scene. It's just like, you know, we, we, we want you to come meet us. I mean, a lot of the young cats are like, can I, can, I, can I say what's up to Sean? Of course, he's here. He's not going to bother you. You know, they look at his accolades, they look at Spud, they look at us, and it's like, bro, we here, we telling you, you can come introduce yourself. If you want to get on stage, we're going to encourage you to get on stage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Encourage you to get on stage and do your thing. Yes. No, do, do you. Let's find out who you are. And let's expound on that. And any way I can help you do your thing, I'm more than willing. And that's how the whole trains, you know, we all, well, me and Sean is from North Texas University. So when I, you know, left North Texas, graduated, when we started, we would reach out to, you know, the cats in North Texas. They come down and the, and the word just starts spreading. And the word starts spreading. That's how we made my league and everybody right, started coming down to the jam session. That's how Mike Mespa and Sean, you know, it was, you know, we was just doing what we experienced and wanted to bring to the city of Dallas, you know, so. Beautiful. And you have, you have a particular talent in being able to, to do the, is it still Wednesday night? Wednesday oh, yeah, Wednesday? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, For the last 12 years? Every week and pull that off and get it done. I mean, that's work, right? Because we built it. I mean, that's like, we started it so many years ago when, it, you know, when I first started it, it was like hard to get people there. But, it was hard to get pe- people there that wasn't musicians. 
Right. The musicians came, the little youngsters, you know, we, we they came out because they was like, oh my God, you get to see Sean Spud and, you know, Bernard Wright has just moved to Dallas and he will be, you know, jamming with us and Braylon. So we had like the musicians see, but we didn't have like the the community. And now we have the community. They know they can come see a talent every Wednesday night. For five and ten dollars. Anybody who's watching this to like just fly to Dallas on Wednesday. Yeah. If you're anywhere yeah. within short flying distance, just go to Dallas on Wednesday. And do it. That's amazing. So I want I want to talk about two more things before we wrap up. First is who are the young cats who will come back? Ooh, God, so I mean, many. Just, just, oh just, just so many. Just go and listen to me. It's too it's many. Like it's it's, it's, it's so many. To, it's one. too many. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll start with the band that I have out here now. Uh, Chris Taylor. Uh, Nick Rothhouse on percussion. Jamani uh, Brooks. Jay Sanford. Uh, ooh, Marcus. Marcus Roberts. Back to you. Man, there's so many of the young cats. So, um, like we're, we're not gonna hold any, if you miss anybody, it's <laughs> cool. Who, who, so who, 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 who are the two kids from North Texas now? The, the bass player and the drummer. Oh, yeah, Byron. Yeah, yeah Byron, Byron and, and, uh, who's and on, um, he's gonna grow up to be in a monster. Man, they, it's a new generation. It's, it's kind of like when, when Mike Lee and them started coming to the gym session, it's like with that whole generation can't start. It's a whole new little wave of generations. It's like 15 uh, years later, you know. J and, oh, JD Beck. Yeah, JD. Oh, you know. JD. Yeah. Uh, 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 Man, like, like, but we we have a we have a we have a layer above that like Mike Mitchell. Yeah, and others, oh yeah, right? yeah. And Mike, now well, they consider they can sit Mike and all those you know Ooh, Quentin Gray. Oh Quentin Gray. Man, yeah, he's gonna be a beast. Take note of all these names. Oh my God, Quentin. Yeah. Of course, you know, we can say Caleb and all yeah, those. Caleb, but they all yeah. consider yeah. like we know we, we everybody know them now. Funky Knuckles, right, right. You know, uh, you know I'm saying it's like, like there's so I'm many saying. different bands in Dallas. Like, what are you talking about? There's a keyboard player named Quentin Gray. You want to know who this kid is because he is amazing. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, dude is dude can play. He's from Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's what's amazing to me is that I think that the, the, the way that you approach all this as a community in Dallas and you two specifically and Spud as leaders, not only are they amazing to begin, they're probably amazing to begin with, but you're gonna you're fostering that. Push oh, that yeah, out absolutely. to the world. And make, as as Snarky Puppy came out like that, that's gonna happen again and again and again. That's the that that kind of That's my that's my I mean it's already happening and what's the thing is these cats have bands. Yeah, yeah, they they like they, they, like, they have whole even, snaps, little, even like the like, little young cat we're talking about from North Texas. They already have like this a, mega a, band. A I've already band. featured them in the profit bar, and they sound like they made a record there. And I was just like, I was amazed. I was like, oh my god! And it does my and they, heart so much. Eighteen and nineteen, and they sure sound. They know who we are. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just don't broke them. It's like, <laughs> or RSVP. Yeah, man. Or start your own label. Let's do it. It's like it's like man, this kids over the world. This kids come out. It's like yo, come out and play. I can't buy you a drink. But come out and play. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like I mean, they want to play. It's they, like, it's want to play. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, I gotta get back to Dallas soon. We'll try to get that mm-hmm. place and I take care of the place. Yeah, yeah. Man. So now it's time for a last minute plug. Uh, you got a tour. I have a tour. I have a tour, I have a tour. Uh, starting uh, t- today in Europe. I'm going all the way through uh, May the 26th. Um, Coming yeah. Phil? I come to Philly. I was supposed to come to Philly, but something happened. But I have to open an East Philly venue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, I, but I do want to come to Philly to come to uh, the Rope Rope store because I feel like I'm long over here. I'm there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, we'll, we'll come together. Me and I should come together. There you go. We'll do a Rope Rope festival at some point. We'll have everything. Ooh, that would be We got to do that. And you want to tell everybody what you got coming up? Oh, what I got coming up? People can pay attention. My birthday coming up. I'm turning 40. Oh my you know God, what I mean? Old. And, uh, he's old as Jack. He's a youngster. <laughs> I went by our elementary school just to see if his name was still written in the tree. And it's still there. But how he's he's just a year younger than me, so. <laughs> huh? The tree didn't grow? The, the, tree, the tree grew, but his name was still there. <laughs> Him and his ex-girlfriend, their name was written in the tree. It's still there. He's just a year younger than me, though, so, yeah, you know, hey. But, uh, you know, I got some jam sets coming up in May for my birthday. Uh, May 17th at the Profit Bar. Mm-hmm. 
And then uh, May 18th, we we kicking off the jam session, the Austin edition. Oh, seriously? Yeah, May 18th. And we only doing it like once a month, every third Thursday in Austin to start it off. What's the venue? Flamingo. It's on 6th Street. It's a very cool venue. Uh, May 18th. Uh, I got a lot featuring a lot of Dallas bands. We coming to we coming to Bay Austin, and I have a lot of Austin bands that night too. So Beautiful. that's what's going down. Getting a signal over here about Europe. I think you're going to ask about Europe. What's happening? I'm trying to come to Europe later this fall. We actually have a few dates. Uh, we're going to Europe in July with Erica Bardu, but I actually have a few dates for the Grits. Uh, oh, yes. We're doing London uh, July 5th. Um, what venue there? That's what we'll put. It, we'll put it in the comments. Yeah, we'll put it in the right. comments. But also, if anybody's watching this and we want to do, uh, you know, we need to fill in some other dates. Yes, so, please. Hey, yeah. if you Get please bring with. Sean Martin and Seven Summers to, to I Europe. I love to come to Europe. Please bring yeah. RC and the Grits to Europe. Absolutely. Bring us together. You know, like oh, that would be amazing. We'll, we'll, Yo, we'll work it out. I promise you, it will be the best show ever. Like we, we, we'll play our music, but we, you know we might want to go go go, or we might want to go funk with the grits. You never know what we want to do. <laughs> we might make it a we might make it a go go and grits party. You never know. Go go and grits. Oh, uh, but you never know. But you know, we'll, you know, we'll give you the real. If you want the you want the seven summers, you want the feel, we'll, we'll give you that. all of it. We'll, we'll give you all we'll, all we'll call it the gumbo party. <laughs> It'll and I'll bring the gumbo. It'll, it'll, it'll be a gumbo part. Gumbo part. RC and the Grits and Sean Martin Seven Summit is way overdue for a Europe tour. Yeah. That's we all agree. That's we all agree. Ask Robert. We need to have that stuff coming. <laughs> yep. um, we're going we're gonna to get up and head over. And Terrace Martin, Martin, my brother. And mm-hmm. Terrace. We're going to continue to connect the circle. Mm-hmm. Thank you both so much. Well, thank you, man. Love you, brother. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks. This is a great time. Uh, we yeah. all in the scene, man. This is great. Yeah. Peace.